Welcome to Very Nearly Interesting. You are most welcome. I'm in the black country of England, near to the town of Dudley. This lane is a mile and a half long, and it goes to absolutely nowhere. And it's a lane that's about as attractive as a fortnight down a coal mine. To be fair, there is a rather attractive babbling brook on one side, but on the other side of the lane, there's an eyesore of a tip. This place was not built for tourists. 300 years ago, this was all farmland, but now it all seems a little bit grim. Changed beyond all recognition after the Industrial Revolution has left it looking tired and scarred. This is no through road. It doesn't go anywhere. There's no bustling community here either. There's no houses. But this place attracts tourists, and it attracts them from around the world. There's a prize waiting for us at the end of this lane. A prize so unusual that when you first lay eyes on it, it stops you in your tracks. It's an arresting sight and one that you don't easily forget. You're not here though. I'm not sure you're gonna experience the same inspiring sight as I do and that all visitors get at the end of this lane. But I'm gonna try my very best to bring it to life on screen just for you. It's the most messed up building in Britain. So don't you go anywhere. You don't wanna miss this. This is the part of the Midlands in England known as the Black Country. It played a big part in the Industrial Revolution. The country was hungry for coal and iron in the 18th and 19th century, and Dudley had plenty of it. The area was riddled with coal mines and ironworks, and they carried out ceaseless mining operations. But those ceaseless mining operations caused ceaseless subsidence, and that carried on throughout the Victorian era. Houses were beginning to take on strange forms as part of their foundation started to sink into the ground. By 1940, entire streets of houses had to be bulldozed. They became unfit for human habitation and were condemned. The house at the end of this long lane was built in 1765. That's 11 years before the birth of the United States of America, and it was originally a farmhouse. In 1830, it was converted to a pub. It was called the Sidon House, and Sidon in black country dialect meant crooked. It was an apt name, because already by then, part of its foundations were already sinking into the ground due to mining subsidence. That didn't worry local drinkers, though, because despite its shaky foundations, it was a thriving pub and served the local residential and farming communities. Everything was going fine until 1940, when the building was condemned. The country was at war, but the local authorities still had time to condemn the Sidon House, along with virtually every other building in the area. As the bulldozers rolled into town, the Wolverhampton and Dudley breweries decided they were having none of it and they rescued it from imminent destruction. It needed urgent repairs. Yes, there was a war on. Yes, materials were in short supply. But you know, we do need a place to drink. Now this is a proper pub and it does serve proper beer and it is open to the public. I, I can't complete this video without going inside and showing you, but I just want you to know I'm gonna be drinking a soft drink. I, I am working, videos cost money, time is money. I won't be drinking beer whilst I'm in there. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. A huge brick buttress was built on the side of the building in Victorian times, and that kept it going for about 70 years. But by 1940, it wasn't enough to save it. So huge iron rods had to be placed through the middle of the building to stabilize it in 1940, and that was financed by the Wolverhampton and Dudley breweries. So the building was saved. What couldn't be saved, though, was the interior of the building. It's a twisted and mangled wreck. But that's what people travel from all over the world to come and see, the Crooked House at Himley near Dudley. Whilst everything around it was being demolished, the pub was reprieved. The buttress along with the iron girders saved the pub. It's breathtaking and a little unnerving to look at. From the outside, it challenges your perceptions and it really does leave you standing in awe. Why didn't they just flatten it and rebuild? Seems such an odd decision, doesn't it? But I'm glad they didn't flatten it because we wouldn't have this today. The lean and look of the building is so extreme 
that some visitors to Himley think it's a tourist attraction that was built for that purpose, like you'd find at a theme park. But this is no themed pub. This is no pub that you'd find in a theme park. That side of the building really is four foot underground. When you first see it, it's a little shocking. The first time I saw this building a few weeks ago, as I came around that bend, I did have a moment of disbelief. It, it took my breath away. Everything that you understand about buildings and the environment is momentarily changed. It stands today thanks to reinforced foundations. This brick buttress provides a counterweight and the iron girders prevent total collapse. Without these measures, the pub would be long gone. People come here for the same reason that they visit Pisa in Italy. They want to see and experience something that's gone wrong. The outside of the building is strange enough, but it's on the inside of the building that you really do take leave of your senses. Unsurprisingly, the interior is twisted, stuck in a time warp, from damage sustained to it throughout the 19th century. Whilst the building has been stabilised, the legacy are rooms that defy belief. And it's given rise to some very strange optical illusions. We're going inside, I have had permission to film in there, and I'll do my best to convey the weirdness of that building. This is the only pub I know that you feel drunk before you even get to the bar. Okay, I'm going inside. The first thing to note is the door is at a very, very strange angle and the floor falls away as soon as you walk in. So you really do feel drunk before you've walked in. This does seem to be quite level, but have a look at the angle of the corner there. This entire wall looks like it's fallen in. I would say that looks like a 10 degree angle. This is the craziest room. Don't know if we can see it on screen, but as I'm walking up to the corner of this room, I'm walking up a hill. This wall is at a 20 degree angle. This archway is completely piled over that way. I'm now looking at a fireplace. I am sure this is probably the part of the building that's four foot underground. The entire fireplace is leaning over. How this fireplace hasn't fallen apart, I've got no idea. This bench, it's a crazy angle. Let me just try putting my microphone. The strange thing is, even though that table looks on a crazy angle, nothing rolls down it. But there's also a strange phenomenon in this pub, that marbles roll up, bank. let me show you. There's a marble here for you spy tourists. Have you had a go yet? <laughs> Marble, that's clearly going up, bank. The problem is with this pub is you don't have an horizon for reference. You've got no way of centering your brain. You've got, you haven't got an horizon to be able to understand which is the right way up. I'm looking at that and it's clearly going up bank, but if I put the marble there, it appears to be rolling up bank, which is absolutely impossible. So I must be on a tilt. Now I, I'm walking through the pub. We can't show you this on the screen, but I'm sober at the moment. And as I'm walking, I have, I've really got no idea what's up and down. I can feel my body wanting to pull to one side. In fact, I'm stood here by the door. I've got more weight on my left foot than I have on my right foot. I feel like I want to fall over, but that's exactly what's happened to this door. This door wants to fall over and it has. And, and another crazy thing is when you open the doors, they slam. <laughs> they slam in your back. So whilst they've been able to put that huge buttress on the side of the building, and whilst they've been able to put huge girders through the middle of it, that has stabilised the building. And that's the reason this building is here now for future generations to enjoy. What they can't fix is the craziness inside. And do you know what? If I could change what was inside, I wouldn't, because this is what draws people from around the world to come and visit the Crooked House at Himley. Everywhere you look, it challenges your senses. I'm now looking at the window, which is at the craziest of angles. What must it be like in here after you've had four or five pints? This table clearly is feigning down to the left. I expect this marble to roll down. It goes that way. This pub really is a time warp because it's the years of substance throughout the Victorian era that have caused these rooms to be in this crazy twisted situation. So even though the girders and the buttress have done a fantastic job in stabilizing the building, it's frozen the damage of the pub in time. So all of the strange doorways, all of the strange windows, the crazy floors and the unusual angles of the pub walls make this a time warp. It's all damage from subsidence from 19th century mining. What must it be like when you're drunk? I've got no idea. I'm gonna start by having a pint. Um, can I have a pint of beer and rosy? 
If you're ever near the Midlands of England, then you should stop off at the Crooked House. Quite apart from its unique characteristics and mind-blowing appearance, it's a lovely pub and you're guaranteed a friendly smile and a nice welcome. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. That way, YouTube will show it to more people. And please consider subscribing. That way, we might see you again. And here's some other content from us. We've been looking at the birth of the Beatles, three episode series, click there. And we've also been up to Leeds, England, to see exactly where the world's oldest video was shot on the 14th of October, 1888. Click there for that one. Thank you for watching. Please do like the video. I hope you found it interesting. Well, very nearly interesting.